Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our next major version upgrade of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop version 5.7, which believe it or not, is the first major release of this year, 2023, and started rolling out just a short while ago today on the 16th of February. Now, because Vivaldi does have a longer release schedule between major version upgrades compared to, as an example, Chrome and Edge, we can always expect to get new features and key highlights uh, in the uh, releases to the browser and version 5.7 is no exception. Now, um, before we have a look at the key highlights and some other improvements, just to double check at first, if you have the update on Windows, we head to the menu, help, click on check for updates, and this process will upgrade the browser automatically. And if we just head to the about page, just to have a quick look at the actual version upgrades, the browser, as mentioned, bumped up to 5.7 with a new build of 0.2921.53. And because Vivaldi is based on the open source Chromium uh, platform, it has also been upgraded to Chrome version 110, which is the latest release. And besides all the actual new improvements, changes, fixes, and features that have rolled out to the actual browser, this uh, Chromium update is qu actually quite important because it does include numerous bug fixes and security updates. So just do yourself a favor and double check that your browser is up to date. Now, the first of three new features and key highlights, uh, Vivaldi says, the window panel now is Windows panel. And you can access that by clicking on window in the sidebar and side panel. And Vivaldi says that this is a unique feature because up until now, uh, this panel was limited to the active window you were actually using in the browser and now has been improved to um, expand and be expanded for all of your open windows making it now a windows panel as mentioned and those improvements now to the windows panel include it's useful for those of you now who frequently work with multiple browser windows according to Vivaldi and you can also now easily move tabs between the tab bars of different windows or even between tab stacks on different windows. And um, as you can see, there's also a brand new search box, which makes searching uh, between your and through your stacks, tabs and windows a lot simpler and easier. So if this is a function that you do use and a feature you do use, I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Window panel now is Windows panel. And then the next uh, upgrade and a feature update uh, is for Vivaldi Mail, which as many of you know, Vivaldi, the browser, has its own built-in email client. Now, I personally do not use the Vivaldi Mail in the browser, but nonetheless, you can now auto-mark your emails as read after upgrading to version 5.7. And um, the option to Vivaldi Mail to mark emails as read automatically um, is now in the settings. So to get to that option, just head to the settings menu and page click on mail and on the mail page yeah you'll see a new setting which by the way is actually toggled off by default and if you want to uh, use the option just toggle it on turn it on automatically mark as read so what will happen now when you do turn the feature on vivaldi will mark any email that is selected by you as read automatically when the preference is set to on so as mentioned you can now auto mark your emails as read in version 5.7 and then the third and final uh, new feature and key highlight is also once again to do with the um the vivaldi mail but this time uh, there are improved keyboard shortcuts for vivaldi mail so to access those we click on keyboard which will open up the keyboard settings page and if we scroll down yeah you'll see mail and if you just expand that menu yeah you'll see mock message as spam not spam so vivaldi mail now lets you assign custom keyboard shortcuts for flagging mail as spam or not spam so you can assign those different keyboard shortcuts mock message as spam not spam so improved improved keyboard shortcuts now rolling out for vivaldi mail and those are the uh, key highlights just to mention uh, briefly in this video and over and above that if we just head over to the actual release notes for version 5.7 over and above the new features there are plenty of improvements uh, in the change log. Too many to uh, mention in this video. So I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to read up more in depth. So we have address bar improvements and fixes, calendar improvements and fixes, crash fixes as we can see, 
Um, there are Mac OS Linux fixes, fixes for both Linux and Mac OS. Mail, quite a few going on there for mail. A lot of fixes, improvements and changes. Onboarding um, fixes. Uh, the panels have received uh, fixes. Quick commands, settings, sync tabs. So you get the idea theme. So there's a lot going on and I'll leave uh, the change log down below if that would be of interest. So that's more or less what is new. Uh, in Vivaldi version 5.7. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.